Well, hello guys. There are something I want to address about Coco Mama, Coco Niger Mama, um, the lady that is looking at us here. If you don't know her, she's a Nigerian diaspora, a YouTuber. Now, um, her marriage recently broke down. Um, she's recently a divorcee or recently divorced her husband. What happened was that the husband came out and, you know, started badmouthing her, granted an interview, um, I said badmouthing her through one YouTuber, Maureen. So I just want to put it out here, um, there's something I want us to talk about her, Coco Mama, why you should pray for her, you know, remember her in your prayers. But before we go into that, let me welcome you guys. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime I drop any new video. If you're turning subscriber, you are highly welcome. My people, my people, no man, Jemba, you guys are the best. Thank you guys for your support, your love. I don't take them for granted. I pray that God will bless and enlarge your scope. Mama, need your pocket in Jesus' name. Amen. Have you liked this video? Guys, please remember to like, click on the like button, and leave your opinion down in the comment section. So, um, grab your popcorn. Like I said, um, I want to address something about Coco Mama, right? So, like I said earlier, you guys know that she's a divorcee. Mm -hmm. um, one time you're a married woman, one time you're a divorcee. This life, you know, balance at all. So, um, you know what happened? Her, her husband granted an interview, you know, but not the wife. I don't even want to, you know, talk about the man self because I don't know the kind of man that will do that. I've made videos about Coco Mama. Um, but what I want us to talk about here today is that there are some things I observe about us ladies especially ladies both men and women okay um on social media concerning her now there is no marriage that does not that is perfect okay there is no marriage that does not go through you know crisis it can be you and your husband fighting but when i mean fight not like physical but you know quarreling and um, having disputes misunderstanding um no marriage is a perfect marriage in life okay we are different human beings coming together to, you know, agree for something to happen. Because it takes two for marriage to happen, right? It takes two for marriage to work out. Now, what I'm saying this is that um, she's not the first person to undergo divorce, okay? She's not the first person to have a marriage crash. Um, there's something that has been happening and, you know, I've been holding myself. I want to keep quiet. I wanted not to talk about it, but it kept on happening and it's still happening. It keep on happening. Now, what am I talking about? Um, people talking about um, Coco Mama's marriage whenever she posts a video. Now, you guys know that her niche is about talking about people. Her niche on YouTube here is about talking about people, um, marriage, not only marriage, people's life. You know, she make um, video gist talking about others so which never she put out a video about people or about other people's marriage or about other people's life um people will leave the content of the video and you know start throwing her um, start talking about her marriage start telling her to go back to her husband that she's not a good person if she, uh, um she was to be a good person she would have hold her marriage she would have allowed her marriage to break um you know, all that good stuff, all that, at least are not even good stuff, okay? So people, no matter, you know, throw her, and that kept me wondering, and, you know, I, I, I kept wondering about these things, and I decided, you know, well, let me come and address it here today. Instead of, you know, throwing her, instead of reminding her of her past relationship, instead of telling her to go back to her marriage, do you think that you value the marriage more than her? Do you think that she's happy wherever she is in, 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 her, in the point of her life, at this stage of her life? Do you think that she's happy that she's separated from her children? Now, um, instead of reminding her of all these things, why not pray for her? Why not pray for her marriage? Why not pray for her to recover? Why not pray for her to be healthy? Why not pray for her to be strong? For God's sake, she's not the first person. She will never be the last okay anything that has beginning must have end most marriages must not end you know till death do us apart there are some ones that will end you know their journey at the middle of the marriage so it's not all the marriages must end till the end do them apart 
What I'm saying is, I'm a lover of marriage. I love marriage. I love beautiful marriage, not ordinary marriage, not anyhow marriage, not marriage where there is no um, love, where you, your self esteem are being um, altered. I, I don't love those kind of marriage. I love good marriage. God instituted marriage for a purpose. Now, when that marriage is meeting the purpose, I love it, okay? I'm a preacher of marriage, a good one. I'm a preacher of a good marriage, right? But when it didn't work out, when the thing do, don't work out for people, okay, be happy for them. Because take it or leave it, they are in the best position to work out for their marriage, okay? They are in the best position to, you know, value their marriage. So I don't think that um, if there is anything she would do for her marriage to come back, that she wouldn't have done it. I don't think that if the marriage is sweeting her, if she, she is happy in that marriage, if she's benefiting in that marriage, and she will just allow her marriage with how many kids to just, you know, go down the drain like that. Now, our people said, a guy a bekalele on okay? Meaning, you cannot, you know, weep more than the bereaved. Those that are lost people, you can't cry more than them, okay? So, um, what I'm saying is that, so instead of, you know, um, thinking that you are bullying her, you are, you know, constantly bringing her down because you think that she's a woman, you know, in this part of um, world we are from, um, Africa, Nigeria especially, women are easily judged. I've not seen anyone talking about the husband. Why did the man grant the interview in the first place? Ah, I do. I wonder the kind of a man that will walk, just wake up, grant interview about his wife for crying out loud for the sake of the kids. There are some things that are meant to be private. Even if your marriage is ending, keep it. You know, there are some things. Even if you want to, you know, talk about it. Uh, hey, I'm no longer married. You are no longer married. God forbid, not me. But you want to talk about your marriage that is no longer working out for you. There are some things that I think that are meant to be private. Now, she herself, as a woman, she kept it private. She did not come out to talk about it. Do you think that the man is perfect? Is the man a saint? Even listening to that interview, you will find out that that man is just, you know, can be, you know, someone that when he shook you, eh, he will, like, he will shook in that marriage that you, you will not know what to do. His tone of language, the way he, you know, he's bad his wife then, in fact, eh, it make me know that this is not a good man. For the sake of the kids. You can decide to walk away from the marriage, but, you know, keep it, you know, in a low key so that your children will wake up tomorrow. They will not be, you know, used against them. Those things you say will not be used against them. Now, let's take, for instance, imagine those kids waking up tomorrow, growing up to get married, and their spouse, um, their partner will use it against them. After all, your mom, they say that she was, you know, once a pro or she was once you know into marriage and still seeing other men which we don't know whether it is true or not at this point now the point i'm saying is that instead of using it against her let us pray for her okay if god still made it that they will still come back together because i've seen people that um, divorce and after they will still come back and you know remarry so if God made it so that way, telling her on the under the comment section will not make her to you know reconsider. Okay, don't you think that she might be going through the prep, you know, DP? Don't you think so? So you know those comments will make her put her off balance, make her to go into that DP more and more. So my point here is that instead of you know bad matter her, reminding her of her failure or what you think that is her failure in marriage. Please pray for her. Marriage is not all and all. There has been a life before marriage and there must be a life after marriage. Most important thing is, your, is her happiness. If the marriage, when she, when she was in the ha marriage, she wasn't happy. Now she's single. If that's what makes her happy, so be it. This is what I believe in life, okay? So guys, um, if you have any other opinion, please do well to leave it down there in the comment section. Let me learn from you guys, um, okay? I look forward to your comments. 
Like I said, the most important thing in life is what? Your healthy self-esteem. You are happy wherever you are. If you are married, you are happy. If you are in marriage, you are, you, your self-esteem is not tampered. You know, apart from those things, uh, if being single is what will give you peace of mind, that's okay. So, guys, like I said, leave your opinion in the comment section. Like this video, you know. Do all that good stuff. Share the video. And with this, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.